Yeah. And we put our arms round each other. He chucked his. He had a tin hat on. Which on the, <laughs> I the greenberry. He chucked his tin hat up in the air. We did a little dance up on the corner. Because <laughs> we were Brilliant. the first from the beach to get to here. meet them. Yeah, yeah. See, unlike the movie, that the one that was Para, that was your dad's battalion. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Your dad was just up the road at Burnerville, about 200 yards up the road. Yeah, Burnerville. Yeah. See, the movie The Longest yeah. Day has you yeah. believe that the bagpiper and, and Lord right. Lovett were the first here, right. but in reality, the, Roy and Freddie were the point the element in front the of them. Day, yeah. Well, we were the first from the beach. From the, the beach, beach, yeah, from the beachhead, yeah. 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 So that he was. That was the spearhead attack. So it's green berries and red berries. Very close. Very close. Very close. And you My say. Blood he brothers. Brothers. Well, he probably wanted to join the commandos because he threw his tin yeah, hat away. Yeah. And you know, me and the, these two lads, they had a brain gun. They oh, a lovely. Brain gun. Light machine and we, gun. we come round the corner, they jumped up and said, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and we got hold of each other, we cuddled each other. And relief, we sign did, of relief. We did a little dance around. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can imagine. You could imagine. I because I yeah. didn't know whether if we, if, if, if Whether we, you would have made it or not. If we'd have been pushed back, yeah. they'd have been on their jack. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, they'd have been on their jack. And we, we were the first were people up at the Paris. And they were scared and they were jacked. You know, you know my father told me, that told That's me, it. he said to me, they were the, scared of the British. Hitler, right Hitler gave a direct order to all SS, Panzer, all of the all of the all of the uh, the elite troops of the German army. He gave the direct order that any paratroopers or commandos yeah. that were captured would be killed on the site. They wouldn't shoot. They wouldn't that shoot. was the direct order from That's Hitler correct. himself. Yeah. But our, our answer to that was he was scared. He was scared of any paratroopers. They were scared. He was he was scared. Hitler was scared of the commandos. Yeah, yeah. Hitler was scared of the paratroopers. Yes, he was. Because the most most dangerous elite fighting force in the world. Yeah, yeah. Hitler was scared of the commandos and the paratroopers. Yes, he was. Because the most most elite fighting force in the world. That's correct. Along with along with obviously the, the U.S. elite. Soldiers. Any paratrooper, regardless of service. Yeah, 82nd Airborne, 101st Airborne. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The elite exactly fighting right. forces. The elite they fighting given, forces. He, he knew that he that was. Order. He knew that he, he was in trouble. He gave the order to kill on sight. There he knew no he was in trouble. Well, the Germans had their own paratroopers, and they knew how elite they, they were. They were good. They were good the paratroopers. That told me that was very good. Elite. Elite. The, the Falschenegger yeah. were a very elite force. Yeah, they was very elite. Yeah. But they could not compare. No, not I met them in Sicily. Did you really? M me and Fred met the... Uh, you know Dad fought in Sicily as well, did you know that? You know the yeah. story. Yeah, I know, yeah, Fred told me, yeah, you and Fred, yeah. Well, you, you've heard it. It's the best story ever. It's Sicily. Yeah. Walking past an MG42, you've heard the story. He's sitting in the you, um, Can you give me the highlights? <laughs> huh? They the walked highlights. past no, the machine no, gun no, nest. No, no, no. Um, Mike said about us in Sicily. Yeah, you said Sicily, yeah, yeah. Walked straight past the machine gun list. That's right, yeah. Have you not heard the story? You've told him. He's got, you've got to have told him. He's one of the best stories you've ever heard. One more time. He's sitting there like, like Errol Flynn. <laughs> Errol Flynn. Is Errol Flynn bald with big ears? And <laughs> oh. I don't think so. Tell me again, just hit the highlights. I cannot go through that bloody story. <laughs> again. It's fed up with it. Everybody, everybody knows your story, and you only need to hear it once. You know, Roy. You, you just want to hear it again. That's what it is. Roy. You want to hear it? He heard it about. No, but he likes. Two hours ago. Roy. Roy. What it Roy. is, Roy? He likes the story. He wants to hear it again. Remember it, now. Roy. I've had too much to. Play. Roy. Want another one? Hey, Roy. He may not. <laughs> you may not have told Rock the story about all that raw wine you guys drank out of those vats in North Africa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Or when you crossed the river up to your waist and you drank all that water in that river. Whoa, I didn't hear that. I don't want to talk about that. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Just I, say, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember that. I, I don't remember that. Just say that now. Who told you? What happened was they had this idea of water discipline. <laughs> and they were training in North Africa. And what Roy told me, they crossed a stream in Algeria. 
and they used it as an excuse to drink as much as they could, and they found out that there was some village up there where they dumped all their sewage in there. Well, then they got to this this place in Algeria. No, they didn't get sick. They got to a place in Algeria that made wine because they make wonderful red wines. Oh, so that'll kill the bacteria. Well, what happened was they had all these big old old casks full of raw wine that was... It was fermenting, it wasn't ready to be served, and they went and drank their fill of that. Yeah. Oh my god. We were this. Where is it? I'm going. You got, I want to be there. The whole number one troop of three commando. We stayed in this place overnight. We were sleeping on top of these huge bags with undone. Why? Uh, there was a, a thing in the middle where you pick it up, where they used to place it. Yeah, move it up a little closer. We're keeping our mess tins in it. We've got mess tins full of this. And what's it? Wine. <laughs> the next morning, one <laughs> troop we got on parade. The best as <laughs> We're drunk as hell. <laughs> we, 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 we've got fanny in three racks. We're wobbling all over the place. <laughs> Our troop commander, he, he went He went off. He, 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 he tore into us. I bet he swore he, at you as he well. Really, he, tore, he said, right, right, get in three ranks. Double marched. He, he double marched us. We're all drunk. He double marched us back into Algiers, into the camp, which was ten miles. He doubles us ten miles into the camp. The sweat was and double mar double marching is not double running, is it? All the way. It's not running, the more or less. By the time we got there, we were dead sober. <laughs> <laughs> Sweated it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you think that was his objective? Yeah, yeah of yeah. course, yeah. 1943, says Ross. North Africa. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry to I'm sorry to disappoint you, but after you finish that, me and you are going to go for a run. <laughs> Double time. Double time. <laughs> oh, brilliant! I love.